to test a COM HF or SSB radio, we go to our test functions menu, to our communications menu, and we select SSB. This brings up the SSB test page. On the left hand side are our preset conditions, on the right hand side are in test indications. As with all of our tests, in the bottom left hand corner, we go down to the config, select the yellow config. This brings up the SSB config menu. There is a port selection, power selection and power measurement. To change the port, we just hit the little yellow button. I can change from a cable to an antenna test. Most people will use an antenna test. For the power, select DBM, millivolts or microvolts. Again, most people stick to DBM. And the power measurement that happens with the HF signal, I can do it as a peak or as an average. Peak is most common. So this is the config page that just presets the test configuration. Once it's done once, you don't need to change it unless you want to. It will memorize your selections. So exit out of that, and we're back in our test page. On the left hand side, we select the frequency. This allows you to select any HF frequency within the band. The range there is between 10 and 40 megahertz. I'm going to stick with 10. The power level of our selection menu pops up. We can go anywhere from minus 83 to 13 dBm. I'm going to stick with a 13 dBm maximum power, so I can just exit out and we have 13 dBm. Sideband, I can choose between the upper or lower sideband. In this case, I'm going to do a lower and the ident switch. Ident allows you to choose what audio signal is sent from the art to the aircraft. There are three choices, off where there is no audio signal, tone which is a single continuous one kilohertz tone, or code. Code is Morse code and in our case we send the letters LSB as an audio Morse code to the aircraft. So I'm going to select code. The left hand screen is done. If I exit out of this screen and come back to it, everything will be remembered. So once it's programmed, you don't really have to change it until you're ready to do another test. In the middle of the right hand side of the screen, you have the RXTX. The art is designed so it always starts in receive mode. It won't transmit until you switch it to transmit. So come down and hit the start test button. The test is now running. I am now setting the arts to receive a HF signal at 10 MHz into the arts test hardware. At this point, you would tune the radio in the aircraft and push the PTT to transmit from the aircraft. When you do, you will see the audio frequency being displayed and the power. The power is only an estimate because it's an over the air test. We're testing antenna to antenna in this case. In order to test the transmission into the aircraft, I switch that receive TX to the TX. You see it goes green. Now I'm transmitting a 10 megahertz at 13 dBm on the lower sideband with an ident Morse code to the aircraft. In the aircraft, you would hear the LSB audio on the aircraft cockpit speaker or in the headphones. So that's how we test an HF. I can do a selectivity test by pushing the frequencies display and this pops up a frequency menu. This allows me to change the frequency in very small steps in a live mode. So for example, I can take the one kilohertz up at one kilohertz at a time, or I can do 10 kilohertz at a time. This is doing our selectivity test. If I exit out of this, you'll notice that the master frequency goes back to 10 megahertz. Same thing for power, for sensitivity. I push the 13 dBm indicator. This gives me control over the power. I can now drop the power down or take the power up by 1 dBm steps. I can take it down until the radio switches off. A standard sensitivity test. If I exit out of here, again, the value of the main signal goes back to the normal selected level. So sensitivity and selectivity can be done very quickly and very easily while the test is being run. At this point, we're going to stop the test. We'll hit the stop test button. Arts is now not transmitting or receiving, and I can exit back to the test functions menu.